Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Alone, you say? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. She left, you say? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Utaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Yeah, d dude, don't worry about it. I totally understand. Can I say both of these things? Coffee Daddy, you are not in the wrong, my man. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. Let's take her to a palace! That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Uh... I don't know which one of these two things to say. What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, Coffee Daddy, but she's on the box art. We gotta get this thing going. I'm gonna head back then. 
You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. Oh yeah, it's almost like I said that already, and I know Coffee Daddy better than you do, Ryuji. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? I don't think we can change her heart. It doesn't sound like she has any distorted desires. You're going to disobey Coffee Daddy? I'm going to do something that will lead to Coffee Daddy being very happy in the end, even if he might be a little upset in the interim, is how I choose to word it. If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. I mean, like, it's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? I highly doubt she has a palace. Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. Oh, what? What the? She's got one. No way! She actually has a palace? So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. He's still at Coffee Daddy's house. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. I did not expect this. No way in hell he's abusing her. Oh, here we go. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Did I not just, like, do I really need to hear all of this back? I just listened to all of this. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh no, Morgana is gone. However, shall we cope? Yo, let's go do whatever we want late at night. Yo, let's go. I'm free. No, why? My one moment to be free. Oh my goodness, I'm mad. Just go to bed. Everything sucks. Even when the cat is gone, it still controls my life. Hey. Are you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? Listen here, cat. I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. Uh, where were you? You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. Hmm. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. What was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. Hmm. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief, and she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjet down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Okay. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? 
It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Oh, hey. The normal music isn't playing? Oh, there it is. Utaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? They were an unseen enemy. Then how was Mejid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. You still doubt me. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. Oh, I'm gonna find some way to kill you or something. Just you wait. I'm gonna take this chair and beat you with it or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna find the way. No one disrespects Coffee Daddy. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Seems Sanijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Oh, we're gonna upgrade the thing from the future. The judge confidant? Okay. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. I think we can waste all the time we want. Like, with how long this story has been taken. Boom, day 25. Seriously? They're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting? I guess they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Medjed's statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. It could just be a joke. There's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're going to target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. Bag-eyed student. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjet is after. This is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. Don't be haste. I applaud your cool-headedness, but it'll be too late if we wait until after something's happened. If Medjed does something drastic, what will people think of us? Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Alright, we out. See you later. An assembly during summer vacation? Are they crazy? Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. They're so stupid. I wish I could change their hearts. Why not make a post? A request might be taken. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Butaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjed. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Butaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace.
Chalice is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. The pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. Apparently, it's going to be really weird because Chad has been warning it, warning me about it since the start. Chaos never get Ryuji's confidant to rank seven. I think he's at like rank six right now, so I will definitely be getting him to rank seven soon. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? I, I mean, like, what else are we going to do? Let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Just never speak to Ryuji? Now that's an idea that we can consider. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? What would Futaba's be? I don't know, a prison? Because she's like, locked herself away in his house? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? Do you know what game you're going to stream tomorrow? I'm not going to stream any games tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. I don't stream on Thursdays. Yeah, are you sure you're human? That's not important. I'm talking about my memories here. I... Definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. Wait a minute, when did we ever say that Futaba was missing memories? Did I miss a line of text? In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Yeah, it's called being the main character. I'm just lucky. Sure live up to my expectations. Late happy holidays to you too, Cordy. Good to see you. Consists a firm resolve for Morgana. Oh, we're going to level up the... You're magician, right? Igor is fool. Yeah. Ace tools allows you to craft all infiltration tools. Ooh! All right. Interesting. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. <sighs> now, the last keyword. She's a shut in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? That's what I was thinking. It's not a prison, though. Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Huh, maybe an oasis? What? Nothing so far. Oh my goodness, Yusuke! In that case, how about HFIL? I'm glad that you're wrong. We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can't. Come on, let's go see Futaba. 
What will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. Huh? You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? Ah, let's find out. I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. Uh, hold on. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions this time. He's at work now, so I think we should be fun. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of crap like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with Akira kun. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him. Okay. Very well, let's do this. <laughs> 